Hello everyone, today we're going through how to set up your environment for IV development. We are going to be installing Git, Docker and Bytesharm and getting all of them configured properly. So first thing we need to do is to install Git and it's really simple. We're just going to run the command apt get install Git and that's it. Now we need to clone the GitHub repo and to do that I will go to the main IV repo and make a fork. And what a fork is, is basically a copy of the main repo that I have access to. So now that I made a fork, I will just copy the link. And I will make a, a directory called ivy. I'll go into that directory. And now I'm going to run the command git clone, but with a flag called recursive modules. And I will give it the link to my GitHub repo. And I will specify it to clone the repo in this directory. And we just wait for it to clone. Now that it has finished cloning, we can see that we have everything on our local PC. Now that we are done with setting up Git, we need to go through and install Docker. We're basically going to be running some commands from Docker Docs. So if you need to know what these commands do exactly, you can refer to the documentation. So the first command we're going to use is to update our app Git index. And then we need to install some packages that are required for Docker to be installed. Now we have to add the gpg key for Docker. And basically we're going to make a directory for that. And download the key to that directory. The last thing we need to do before we start installing Docker is setting up the repository and by just running that command. Once again, we're going to update our app git index. And now we just need to install Docker. So basically we're going to run the command to. After installing Docker, we need to give it access to work without the sudo command. And to do that, we're just going to add Docker group. And then we're going to add ourselves to that group. And to apply these changes, we need to run this command. And now that Docker is installed, we need to make sure it runs correctly. So to run Docker, we're going to type sudo service, docker start. And then we're going to say docker run hello world. And we can see it works fine. Now we are done with Docker. Now we have to do one more thing and that we need to pull the Docker image for Ivy. And we're basically going to run Docker pull and we're going to type the name of the repository. Make sure we type latest. That is going to give us the latest version of the image. This may take a quite a few time. So just chill and wait for it to finish. Now Docker has finished pulling the image and finally we can go ahead and install PyCharm. Now installing PyCharm on Ubuntu is really easy. We're just going to go to the Ubuntu software. We're going to search for PyCharm. And we need to make sure we're using the professional version, not the community one. The community one does not have uh, Docker support and that it won't work with us. So after installing PyCharm, we just need to add the project that we cloned and also configure docker so let's do that so at first you're probably going to see a window to activate pycharm this is really simple you just need to log in with our account or use um, activation code if you have one and then you will be uh, promoted to this one i'm going to click on open and then i'm going to choose the folder that we cloned iv2 click ok now i just need to go to file settings build an execution and deployment and then to docker i will click on that docker plus sign and we should see a connection successful here and that means that docker is installed correctly and we can connect to docker now we just click apply and now we go to project ivy python interpreter and we're going to click on add interpreter and then you're going to choose on docker 
now we're gonna select pull and we're gonna type in the image IV and basically before we, we already pulled this so it won't do anything and then we select next and then we're gonna choose the Python 3 here and we're gonna click on create so now we have everything configured and you can see all the packages required for IV development is already there I'm gonna click on OK and we can test that real quick we can just go and create a new file and if we import Ivy maybe print hello from docker and Ivy and then we just print the Ivy version oh my god if we run the file and we can see we get hello from docker and Ivy and the Ivy version my PC is a bit slow so that's why it's not getting that uh, reference resolve so that's not something to worry about and that was it. That's all you need to get started with IV development. Thank you.